hi, this is video is to help you use the new app released in December. It's much better. It's not perfect. We plan a complete refresh due out in January. So here is the main menu. We did improve the formatting for the trips. So you'll no longer see the improper formatting. Settings. There still may be an issue with the unit staying in place. We've identified that as an issue and we'll fix that in the next release. But you can choose between kilometers and miles. And then I'm going to go to bike list. I'm going to choose this bike. What we want to see here is we want to see the Bluetooth to connect. So I'm going to back out one more and then back back in. And I'm going to wait for Bluetooth connect to connect with the device. Now the device is falling asleep because there's no LEDs blinking. And then it connected, the Bluetooth connected. I'm going to set the alarm. You could set the name of the device here. I'm going to leave my name the same. Trip info, set alarm, stats, stop trip. Let's go set the alarm. Now this still is not perfect and this might not align with the device. And keep in mind that the device is the ultimate guide authority to if the alarm is on or off. If the red LED is lit, it's armed. If not, it's not. So we activate it, it's on, and then of course you turn it off and you deactivate it and it goes off. But sometimes you might find them not matching, not aligning. If you get out of the app, just notice that the phone app says it's not on, but we clearly it is on. That is a bug. We identified it. But the good news is if we cycle through again and turn it off, it will turn off the alarm. So if there's misalignment to cycle through, it will work. After a trip, to get it to post right away, you can press stop trip. And this will end the trip right away and it'll show up in the dashboard and on your trip summary. That's a brief Introduction to the new app. We have a new app coming out in January, and we'll send you information on that as well. Thank you.